Uh, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to share your message in a way that's authentically you, in a way that's going to resonate with your people, your tribe, okay? So you can get the kind of engagement that you need and desire for your brand, your product, and your services. So here we go. All right, so whenever you're sharing your message, one of the things that I really want you to keep in mind is notice the energy state that you're in and what is your intention behind whatever it is that you're doing, be it you're writing an Instagram post, you're writing a newsletter, you're showing up on stories. What is your intention? Intention is so powerful. You know, our intent is what governs how we think and feel and how we're going to behave. So it's very important that we know what our intention is doing something. Is your intention by writing this post, is it to attract a potential client? Is it to inspire? Is it to motivate? You know, what is your intention? And then you have to also notice what is the energy space that you're in? Because sometimes we show up to write a post, but we're in an energy space where maybe we've been doubting ourselves, we've been comparing ourselves to other, we kind of don't feel so good. So maybe we're in a state where we need to prove ourselves or we're in a fear state and we're like, oh my God, I, I really haven't seen any momentum in my business. I'm not getting a lot of engagement and I think I just, I need to post more. And so we show up and we're posting and we're writing that newsletter, we're writing those Instagram posts and we're showing up on stories because we know we should be doing this in order to grow our brand and our visibility. But here's the thing. The whole purpose of doing all of that is because you want to build your no trust and like factor. You want people to know you, to like you, and to eventually trust you so that they will be willing to buy and invest from you and with you, okay? But you're not going to be able to build your no trust no like and trust factor if you can be authentically you and if you're coming if you're not aware of the energy space in which you're doing things and so a lot of times like i mentioned recently is like okay we show up and we write because we think this is what we should be doing but we're in a fearful doubtful state we're comparing ourselves we're like not sure on how we feel and so we're putting something out there because we think this is what people want to hear or we think this is how we should sound or what we should be talking about or maybe you know when we're showing up on stories we're trying to project an image of being like really polished and really together and really like I'm an expert right but maybe that's not really who you are maybe like me I sometimes talk in circles I can go on tangents but that's who the fuck I am right and so there's been times throughout my journey of doing YouTube videos and a blog that I've gone through a lot of different stages and I've gone through stages where I've tried to be more like put together and a perfectionist and I do outlines. And even though those things serve a purpose in some areas, like I know doing outlines for certain things have helped me, but if I get too structured, it, I lose who I am. Right. And like me, I speak with my hands and when I'm trying to be really polished and really together, you'll see like, I don't move my hands as much. I'm trying to be more like ah, robotic. So you have to figure out first and foremost who the fuck you are so that you can show up as that, more of that. Because people are not going to resonate and people don't resonate with what you say, but it's how you make them feel. It's the energy behind whatever it is that you're doing. People don't make decisions just based off of thinking. People make decisions based on how they feel, how something makes them feel, right? And so think about like your favorite podcasts, your favorite books, your favorite celebrities, movies. It's because they make you feel some type of way, right? Whether it's angry, whether it's passionate, inspired, whatever it is, they're making you feel some type of way. And when you're not in tune with who you are and you're not in tune with the energy space that you're in and whatever it is that you're doing, in this case, when you're going to go write a post, you have to check in with yourself, okay? Like... How do I feel right now? And read your stuff. If you write something and then you read back and it doesn't make you feel some type of way, like you don't feel excited about reading your own shit. You're not like, oh, this is, this is, this is really good. I can't believe I wrote this, right? Like, ah, oh. if it doesn't make you feel any kind of way inside, it doesn't just jump at you. Well, then maybe that's not something that you, maybe you should put that on hold for a minute and, and revise it because check Check why it doesn't make you feel that way. Like, is it really authentically you? Is this something you really feel? Are you just writing this because you think you should? Or is it just knowledge that you 
feel like it sounds good and it resonates with you and people should hear it, but it's not fully, you haven't fully integrated and made it your own. Because this is another thing. I noticed that people are passionate about a topic, like example, like spirituality. And a lot of people want to start teaching on this topic, on energy and different things, which is great. But some people will do it from a space where they just started reading and then they found something that really resonates with them. And they're like, oh my God, this is so good, right? But when they go to share it, it's very robotic and very mechanical. It's like they're reading or they're memorized or they're just sharing and regurgitating information that they learned and maybe that they resonate with, but they haven't been able to make it their own. They haven't been able to integrate it in their own life and connect the dots on how they can apply that information that they love and resonate with. How can they connect that back to them? How can they connect that back to the people that they're talking with in a way that is theirs, okay? Because that's what people is going to resonate with. It's not just like the information that sounds good because information is everywhere, okay? You can find anything now. But what people are going to resonate with is the way you say things. It's the way you deliver information. It's the way that you're able to integrate that into your own life and maybe connect it to your own life experiences, right? For me, I love storytelling and I love when I'm able to take um, concepts and theories and figure out how the fuck they've applied in my life and be like, oh, this is beautiful. And I can connect the dots. It like, it's like an orgasm. It's sometimes better <laughs> for me, right? Um, so you have to figure out what your jam is and how you can share from a space that is you. All right. So this is what I want to say in this video. It's very important that you check what your intention is when you're trying to do something. Is your intention to sell? Is it your intention to educate? Is it your intention to like cause shock? Get in tune with what your intention is for whatever it is that you're posting and sharing. And then also your energy state. So one tip that I give my clients is because you're not always going to be in the in the state to want to post right away there's going to be days where you just feel like shit and you're like i have nothing inspiring to say i have nothing to share but maybe you are building a brand and you want to stay visible so what i tell my clients is in your phone in your note sections whenever you are learning something whenever you've had an aha moment whenever you connected something whenever you've learned new information and integrated it into your own Jot it down in your little note sections and write a paragraph or whatever you're flowing in that moment. Maybe you end up writing the entire post in that moment because you're feeling the energy. Great, save it. And if you do that enough, then you'll have content, batch content. Some of it would just be notes that you can go later back and add to it. And some of it you already have maybe like a whole post written, right? And all you have to do is edit it. But those, are, those posts are going to serve you for the times when you're not feeling like energetically in a space to post like you don't really feel that inspired so you can go to your notes sections and take something from there and post it and the reason that that's going to work well is because when you wrote that you were in a specific state maybe you were very passionate you're like oh i just had this conversation with this friend and i connected all these dots or we just had this amazing uh, conversation or this experience has happened to me and when you wrote it in that moment the energy of it was infused into it. So now when you go to post it, it's still going to have that energy that it was first written from, right? Does that make sense? All right, so that's it for this video. I hope that it was helpful, that you took some notes. I also have included an overview below of today's video and also some homework for you to do. I'll catch you on the next one.